Perplexity AI has just announced a new feature and it is simply amazing. Whether you are a content creator, you are a student or you use it for your business, this will dramatically change the way you do research and it will change your workflow. Let me just briefly show you how it works before I dive deeper. So here we are and we are on Perplexity. I can enter in what my page is about. I already have my prompt right here. So how AI will change the future of content creation. We can just send it and now it starts writing an entire blog slash article for us. So this is actually really fast. What it does is even found an image. This image seems to be taken from a YouTube thumbnail, but don't worry about that. We can change it later. If we scroll down, then we can see all of the headers that they have for this article. And here we can also see all of the sources that it has used. And honestly, this just speeds up the way you create your content by so much time. You can simply use this blog article, you can share it to your friends, to your colleagues, you can have someone else look at it, and you can just publish it right away. Now, let me just dive in a little bit deeper about what this is. So here we have our entire article and we can even ask it to write another section if we want to. It has some suggested sections that we can add in there. And we can do even more than that. We can add some media if we want to. But the way this is intended to use is it is not to replace like ChatGPT. It is basically to replace Google search. So instead of you doing a ton of research on Google search and you look up all kinds of sources, Perplexity just writes the content for you. So it finds the best sections that you want to have in your paper or in your research, for example. Then it gives you all of the sources. So over here, I can see all of the sources and I can see if those are reliable sources. And then it has written its own type of content from this. Now, let me show you how we can change everything from this article. So here's the first thing we can change is the header. So here we can drag it around by just using our mouse or we can click on change. You can change it for any other image that it has taken. So for example, it has probably used AI transforming content creation as a keyword. We can upload our own image or we can generate media. And this is pretty cool. So here we can generate media. Then we can choose a style. So can we a painting, a photograph, a diagram or an illustration? I'm going to do a photograph. And now it starts generating this image for us. And keep in mind, this perplexity feature is right now available for pro users. So they might be rolling this out for free users as well, but currently it's just available for people that are paying for it. Now take a look at this. We have generated our image with Dell E3. I will show you later how you can change this image generation tool or the model that they are using for this. But for now, let's take a look at this image. And here we have how AI is transforming our content. So it's used like a lens. And then we have all of these hands AI <laughs> looks pretty cool. So we're just going to keep it like that. And now let me change the layout of our article. So first things first, you can change the layout right here. You can do like a large image. You can do a small image if you'd like. Then you can also go for no header image if you don't want that at all. But I like the first one, so we're going to do it like that. Then we can edit all the content if we want to. We can just let it rewrite this intro. So for example, we have artificial intelligence is revolutionizing the world of content creation. Let's say I don't like this. Then I can just click on edit, rewrite the intro, and now it will start rewriting it to something different. Now, if I want to insert a section right here, I can do so. And then I can write it about anything that I want. So for example, AI avatars replacing content creators. So this is a section about me, about how I can get replaced by AI. So yeah, let's see if I'm getting replaced. While AI afters and virtual, they're unlikely to fully replace human content creators. So that's good. I am still having a job. But now if I wanted to, I can add some media right here. So here, let's see what it comes up with. <laughs> The fucking goat, the AI goat himself, Quebecop, who ruined his entire channel with AI. I mean, it's a good image. It fits the theme of this article entirely. So let's just go with it. But otherwise, we can just change it if we wanted to. We can also do something like this. This is an AI generated avatar. Pretty cool and pretty accurate as well. Now, if we scroll all the way down, then we can see over here that we have a few options when writing or new sections. So for example, we can add media plus text. We can just do text only or we can do media only if you'd like. 
Then you can even enter in tables, you can add in lists, and then you can choose what type of writing style you want it to be. So do you want it to be concise or detailed? Now let me actually dive in a little bit deeper and let's create an article about something that I'm interested in. So the way it works is you go to library, then you click on plus, then you click on page and here you can write what your page is about. Then one important feature right here is the audience. So who is it for? Is it for anyone? Then it will try to make it understandable for anyone that's reading it. Is it for beginners? Then it will focus on making it not too complicated for beginners. Or is it for the experts? So I'm gonna go just go with anyone because I want everyone to read my content. Now, what's your page about? My page will be about how Alexander the Great conquered Egypt. So this is one of those user cases that works perfectly for this feature. Writing pages about things that interest you, writing pages about blogs that you were already gonna create, or even it is connected to the internet so you can do also up-to-date news articles. For example, I will show you another one later, but let's first take a look at how this one turned out. So it has his strategic entry into Egypt, the role of Memphis in Alexander's conquest. Honestly, this is pretty cool and it's also very good that we have all of these sources so we can check if I think they are reliable. I mean, to be honest, I wish they had this tool when I was still in university. It would have saved me so much time doing my homework. So one thing what I think would be good to add here is some AI generated content. So let's just create something. This is content that I came up with. Let's just generate an image with an illustration. So yeah, this is the image it came up with. And this looks really, really cool. So you can play around with this. You can enter in your image. You can even upload your own images and you can make it even better. But let's say, for example, we want to add in a section. So we want to add in a section um, how Alexander became a pharaoh in Egypt. Now, you don't have to use their suggested titles if you want to. You can just do your own style like I did. It will even rephrase it. So here it rephrased it to Alexander crowned as a pharaoh. So I completely misspelled the word, but it knows what I mean and it will write it for you. And honestly, that's pretty cool. Let's add another image right here as well. So let me just generate a photograph here. So here we have our image. I think it's pretty big, but let's just go with it for now. Now, once you're ready with your website, this is what you can do. You can click on preview, so you can preview it as someone who is reading it, or you can even like publish it. And now you get a shareable link, which you can send to your friends or to your colleagues to check out. And this has become an easy way to share knowledge to others. So you no longer need to like go search up a page that adds some value. You can basically, in a matter of minutes, create your own blog article that you can send to your colleagues. For example, if you're explaining something, you can just type in exactly what you want to have in there and it will create a page for you and you can send that research paper to your colleagues, to your students, to your friends, to anyone that needs to read it. Now, if you're still not convinced that this is a good tool that will actually add value to you as a creator, I will show you another example. But before I do that, let me first show you how you can change your image settings in these settings. So if you scroll down here, you have a few options that you can choose from. So first of all, we have the AI model and there are a bunch of different models available. So with this, we have Sono Large. This is recently announced by Perplexity and I'm currently using this one because I think it's pretty good. But you can also use GPT-40 Literally test them out for yourself, see which one is the best one for your needs. But we have around like five different AI models in there. So if you're still debating whether you should go with ChatGPT or Perplexity, I would say get both because they're both different. If you're doing a lot of research, definitely get Perplexity and just play around with these models. Then for the image generation, you can play around with it too. You can choose between Tally 3. Playground 2.5, or you can go with Stable Diffusion XL. The next example that I'm gonna show you is as followed. So here we have Mr. Beast becoming the most subscribed channel on YouTube. Now, this has recently happened. And what this does, it will generate an entire news article on how Mr. Beast has been topping the YouTube subscriptions. So here we have a bit of a background we can see his highest views in 24 hours, the battle versus T-series, which he has just won. 
So basically you can use this to generate news articles pretty fast and it has used accurate and recent news articles. So there we have it. I can literally go through this entire preview and I can just say like, okay, this has happened. Um, I can take this for my script. I can use this information. I have basically everything that I need to cover a video about it. Now, let me just show you one more method if you're still not convinced that this tool is amazing for creating content, not just like video content, but just in particular written content as well. So let me open a new page. And this page is about how to use the Garmin Forerunner 245. So now I can make this page about any product that I want and it will literally write like a user guide. I can even write like a review. It will take all the information from the websites that it can find and then it writes their own article. So for example, if I was covering this and I wanted to make a video about this, then I could just go through this guide that I know exactly what to do, exactly how it works because I've got all the data in this page. If my friend, for example, has bought this watch, then I can simply send this page to him and then he can go through it and he has a complete guide on how to work with it. I'll be diving deep into Perplexity AI into one of my next videos. So if you want to watch that, make sure you subscribe, hit that bell notification, and then I will see you in the next video.